So in this video, we are gonna show you 20 mods in 20 minutes. Now, we've been super busy doing all sorts of things to the RV. Whoa! Why we've had some time at the Glamper Hideaway and we have found some really cool stuff that I can't wait to show you. Plus, a little bit later in the video, there is a product that just makes me ask, where has this been all my life? And I think you're gonna feel the same, so stay tuned. So mod number one is actually something that you can use at any time of the year because this is something that helps both with cold weather camping and with warm weather camping. And all of you that have been out there for any length of time, if you've been camping, probably have seen this product here. Reflectix is kind of the brand name, but here is a little mod that we've been recently introduced to to help with using this just more efficiently. And that is, is what we've done is we've gone through all of our windows and we've measured and we've cut pieces specifically to fit in each exact window. And then we just kind of did it like old school where we just wrote down on each piece where that it goes. So kind of like a little map, if you will, of where each piece goes so that it's easy to find and then put it. So when we started this project, I originally said we should use the label maker. And Ben was like, no, we don't need a label maker. Well, yeah, we need a label maker. So it's labeled now. Let's put it in. Now, now we don't have any gapping. It's yeah. laying nice and flat. Okay. Perfect. Tankless water heater is what we just recently installed, thanks to our friends over at eTrailer for sending that to us. One thing we have realized though, since installing is this, with a tankless water heater, it does present some challenges with boondocking because it takes longer to run that water and actually get hot water as it's being heated to the faucet, which then you're using a lot of water going into your gray tank. So you'll have to let us know in the comments if you've done this, we're researching a recirculation pump and some Something called bridge valves for each sink. So more on that probably to come, but if you've got any info on that, definitely leave it in the comments for us below. So now the next mod is actually a mod because we saw a fellow RVer that had boat decking material that they had put on their RV steps. And we thought, oh my gosh, that is genius. So I actually started doing some research online, just looking for some boat decking material and ran across Sea Deck. And they actually make this boat decking specifically for RV steps. So the great thing is, is it's already ready to go. It's cut specifically to fit your step. So this is super easy to install. It's soft and cushy on the feet. And it helps keep dirt out of the RV much better than the old school rug type things that we were always getting holes in and then just having to replace. So the next mod we've recently made is installing a lot of these 12 volt style adapters throughout the RV. Now, the wonderful thing about 12 volt power is that it's actually coming directly off of the battery banks. No need to run it through any sort of inverter. And so when you're boondocking, especially, this is a huge power savings by being able to run whatever you can off of this 12 volt power. All right, so mod number five that we have recently made is actually replacing these headlight lenses in the RV. Now we'll put a link in the description below for these on Amazon. They are a little bit more motorhome specific, but here's an interesting fact. They're stock for what you would find in a Ford truck, but it's a direct replacement for this. So kind of one thing to consider if you do have an older rig and something needs to be spruced up, a lot of times you can find parts like this that then are a direct replacement that fit something else. So great mod to do. All right, so the next mod is actually this little light bar from Timu. Now, the reason I like this is because it's really easy to put someplace that you need extra lighting because it's a magnetic clip. So this just clips up there on these little magnets. So I can pull it down on travel days because the slide is right here. But this is actually a space where I really need extra lighting when I'm trying to do coffee or whatever like that. If you hit it again, you can have a little dance party. So <laughs> anyway, it's also motion sensitive. So this is also a light where if you wanted to put it in a cabinet and then have it come on when you open the cabinet, you can set it up that way. But one of my little mods that I am just absolutely loving right now. 
All right, so the next mod is external ports on the outside of the RV. So we actually have three ports here that we can use to set up deployable solar panels. So these are actually going into our system and our charge controllers. So if we wanna set up more solar panels outside of the RV, which here's the deal, sometimes maybe you're gonna be parked in the shade or something where the panels on the roof aren't getting the optimal sun. This gives us the flexibility to be able to set up some panels around the RV to capture that. And then the other port that we have for an external port here, this actually then is for our Starlink. And so instead of having to run our Starlink cable through a slide or through a window, this gives us some flexibility here. It plugs right in here, which also means we can set up our dishy either on the roof or somewhere else if we need to. Okay, so the next mod that actually I'm very excited about is these 67 designs, rails and mounts. What we actually had in the past were suction mounts for everything. Garmin was on one of the beanbag things and it would move around as you're driving and I'd have to have cherry readjust it. These are all fixed. So I mounted them to the dash of the RV and they're flexible. I can buy any type of mount. So I can really mount anything to these. They're on a ball swivel mount so I can move stuff around. So currently what I have on here is my Garmin GPS, the Voyager backup camera, my TireMinder TPMS, and then I can mount my camera and GoPros over here. Absolutely loving these 67 designs, racks and mounts. I also wanna let you know, if you do have a Ford F-150, F-250, Super Duty, they do have the Series 55 mounts that you can fix mount onto the dash. So these are completely solid mounts. Absolutely love these uh, mounts. Now the next mod is something that we literally use almost every single day and that is our Peplink router. We actually really struggled with internet connectivity for a very long time until that we went ahead and bit the bullet and got the Peplink set up. Because what this does is it basically lets you have multiple carriers, puts all of those in one signal. So we have got consistent signal all of the time. If we are in an area where there just isn't any sort of cell service at all, that's where we can add our Starlink in the mix, still run through the Peplink and have connectivity. Okay, so now another mod that we did that we actually don't talk about so much, which we probably should talk about it more, is the soft starts that are in our rooftop ACs. Now, these particular devices not only make it possible for us to run our ACs off-grid while we're boondocking, but also makes it possible if you don't have a boondocking setup where you can run two ACs off of a 30 amp hookup, even if your RV requires 50 amp service. So basically with these in there, it just creates a different way that the AC starts up. It doesn't require a huge jolt of electricity, it just takes less power to get these bad boys up and running. All right, so another mod that we have made, now this is one that we like to talk about because people always ask, and we wonder too, like, okay, great, you made that mod. How is it working for you now that you've been using it for some time? So one of the things we did was we actually did the JC refrigeration conversion on this fridge. So we converted it away from propane, away from the absorption style fridge, turned it into a 12 volt compressor driven style fridge by basically just replacing the cooling element that's on the backside of this refrigerator. This has literally been one of the best mods that we have ever done. These nor cold refrigerators have kind of earned the term no cold, but that's not the case for us after converting this over. So now the next mod, if you will, is kind of like a mod slash accessory, and that is using one of these dump buddies. So when you are hooked up at a campsite versus using some sort of weights or something like that over your stinky slinky sewer hose, this actually clamps on and keeps it tight. And that way too, when you go to let it rip, open up that valve and just let it all out. You don't have to worry about this accidentally popping out of the sewer receptacle and having a very large poopsie.
All right, so the next mod that we recently did was to actually put in the Blink camera system. So we've got several cameras that we've put on the outside of the RV, but we also have this USB powered one. Hi. For Alaska. So we can see what he's up to when we're not here and we're out exploring. See the Alaska cam? Like that. All right, so this is a mod we just made and it's working really, really well so far. And that is these Govi water leak detectors. So here's the deal. These actually are battery operated. They have a two year battery life and you put these anywhere in your RV that you have water. So underneath of a sink, in your water heater area, anywhere where if there's a water leak, it could be a potential large issue and you wanna know about it sooner versus later and that is where these come in. So these are available on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below. All right, so the next little mod we actually had to make out of necessity and that was because these drawer glides in this drawer actually like broke off just because, hey, it's a 20 year old RV. So we actually ordered some new glides on Amazon that work perfectly, but here's the wonderful thing about this. It's actually then like the soft clothes style drawer. So glad that we did this, fixed the big problem. All right, so the next mod was actually ditching the old style sewer hose and going with one of these bad boys instead. Now, here's the thing. We actually have had this for a while and we hadn't really implemented it yet because we thought we had to mod the whole setup on the sewer system to be able to use it. And we were wrong. We need a hose spreader. Who's got one? Gornicky, I think I'll get it. So there's actually adapters. What we're using is the tote tank adapter, but there's other adapters such as this that you can use to still hook into the bayonet style waste pipey things. That's a technical term. These go with a cam lock type system. It's actually the same type of system that like if you have somebody that comes and pumps out a septic tank, that's what they're using because this is just a lot more durable and helps you avoid any unwanted accidents such as poopsies. One mod, if you will, we made several years ago was switching over to the products from our friends over at Unique Camping and Marine, which is the sponsor of this video. Now, one of the favorite products of theirs that we use is called Flush It, and it's a toilet cleaner and a tank treatment all in one. Now, this not only saves time and money, it also provides great results. And all it takes is just one pod to clean the toilet and treat the black tank. The Unique cleaners won't damage toilet seals or valves, and they're safe for plastic, porcelain, or ceramic toilet bowls. Now we have partnered with Unique for a 15% off discount for our viewers. You can visit gratefulglamper.com forward slash Unique or there's a link in the description below this video as well. And a huge thanks to Unique for their continued support of our channel. So the next mod we've recently made is installing Duraflap mud flaps across the entire RV. We've got this very large one in the back. We've got ones behind our rear wheels. We actually installed some on the Expedition as well. Now the key here is that with this long flap in the back of a motorhome, a lot of people say, oh, it actually creates a vortex. It stirs stuff up. That is not true if it's installed correctly. If it is installed incorrectly, that is a 100% true statement. So very important if you do one of these to make sure that you pay attention with the instructions and make sure that it's installed at the correct height. All right, so the next mod was actually using some of this closet made wire shelving. So we picked up a whole large piece from Home Depot and then we've installed it in several places in the RV. So this being one of them in some of the kitchen cabinets, really what it does is it helps to just create really big cavernous spaces into places where you have more organization. Now here's a little trick. We installed it upside down so that way it creates a lip and then nothing is sliding off of this on travel days. Okay, so one mod that I recently installed was this quick connect hose that is a propane quick connect. So in our RV, we have a huge propane tank and I connected this quick connect up to that with another quick connect end. And what this does is gives me flexibility to connect up either a Blackstone 
or I can connect up this propane stove and you can turn it off and on here. I actually have a off and on switch down there underneath. What I had to do in the past is crawl underneath and connect up a different hose for what I wanted to actually use. And let's see if this works. Moment of truth. Ooh. Whoa. Boy, that escalated quickly. All right. Dang. That was on high. Don't do what I just did. Stand back a little bit. I didn't need those hairs on my legs anyways. Okay, so here's your bonus mod. So I installed these ProClip phone holders and I would have to say ProClip has the best phone holders in the industry because they will fit every vehicle. So they clip right in to each type of vehicle. So I have one down here and one up here. There's no suction cups or anything falling from the windshield on hot days. Absolutely love them. Window. Window. <laughs> So I started looking for some boat decking material and actually, <laughs> there's a bee. One thing that we have realized now since. Now? This is like 20 mods in an hour and a half. You know, where you dump your, your stuff. I was about to say something else, but I won't say that word. Good. I know, that's what I'm saying. <gasps> no, he's behind you. He's on the plane. Leak in our hot water? No our water heater. So many of you have left us a comment letting us know it's not a hot water heater because it doesn't heat hot water. It's just a water heater. So there you go, water heater. So while this video are some great mods to do, we've got another video right up here about the 10 worst products for RVers. These are things you definitely wanna stay away from. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, maybe around the campfire, we'll catch you in the next video.